Hello, dear soulmates. You're welcome back again to Omar's Creatives. If you are new here, thank you so very much for stopping by. And if today is your first time here, please kindly hit on the subscription button. And uh, to my subscribers, I thank you so very much for subscribing to this channel. And my viewers, my returning viewers, you guys are the best. To my uh, new viewers, please, if today is your first time here, kindly su support me by subscribing to this channel. Yeah. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to draft a basic bodice, a half basic bodice. So if you are a beginner, after watching this video, I assure you, you have no problem again in drafting a basic bodice. Yeah. If you are a beginner, just kindly watch, practice, watch over and over, and then practice it so that it will master you, okay? So, let's go. So, I'll start by putting down my vertical lines. My vertical lines, what I mean by vertical lines is drawing a line. Here I'll be putting my measurements. Like, draw my is a line where my shoulder measurement will be and also a line where uh, my bust my bust line my um half length line that is my half bodies so let's go this line here is going to serve as my shoulder line from my shoulder line what i will do to get my bust my, my bust line or my chest line is just to divide my bust measurement by four okay my bust measurement by four then minus one from it to get my bust line or you can as well measure from your shoulder line to your nipple my nipple point is 10 inches then when you get that your nipple point the next thing you just do is to go up from that your nipple point by two inches to get your chest line so so this point here will just serve as my chest line so the next thing i'll measure out and the next line i'll draw now is my half bodies uh, line my half length my half length is 16. If you don't know how to measure your half length, just place it, your tape on your shoulder and measure to your navel. Two inches above your navel is your half length. So mine is 16 and I'll just go ahead and mark that 16 then add extra one inch for hemming allowance. So, which is 17 inches. 16 plus 17. If you mark your shoulder and uh, your half uh, uh, line your half length line just add one inch to it for hemming allowance okay so this is it this will just be my shoulder line my shoulder line my chest line and of course my half length okay so the next thing I where well, the next thing I'll do is to divide my bust measurement by four. Remember, on your shoulder line, you are just going to divide your shoulder measurement by two. Then your your bust measurement is divided by four. Your waist measurement divided by four. Yes, and your hip measurement is also divided by four. So if you are a new, if you are a beginner. Just always bear it in mind that bust measurement and your waist, your waist, your bust, and your hip measurement is always divided by four. But on your shoulder line, the shoulder, the shoulder measurement is divided by two inches. Two is divided by two. Okay. So what I'll just do here is to divide my bust measurement by four. My bust measurement is 40 inches. Then I'll just go ahead and divide it by four and it will give me 10 inches. Then, remember, I didn't fold my uh, paper because I'm just managing it. But if you are cutting on your fabric, remember that you are going to fold it when drafting on your fabric. 
remember that you fold it it will be unfold okay so here my bust measurement is 10 inches so i'll just go ahead and mark that 10 inch is here okay after getting it i'll move over to the um i'll move over to the shoulder line and i'm also i will also divide my shoulder measurement by two my shoulder measurement is 14 inches then when I, if i divide it by two it will give me seven inches so i'll just go ahead here and mark that seven inches okay if you don't know how to divide use your tape to divide you just just as my my bust measurement is 40 inches what i'll just do is to fold this like this this is the beginning of the tape okay you just place it here under the 40 inches then do it like this hmm? if you fold it like this then you bring this one also place it did you see Divided by 2 will give you 20 inches. And when you divide by 4, it will give you 10 inches, okay? So, that is it. If you want to divide your shoulder measurement, my shoulder measurement is 14. I'll just place it under the 14 and then mark it here. You see? I'll press here tight so that it will give me a mark. To, to just give a mark, a straight line like this. Are you seeing it? This is divided by two, which is my shoulder measurement. So my shoulder measurement is seven inches. So the next thing I'll do is to, that seven inches, I'll just mark it here so that I'll get a straight line because I'll be extending the line. I'll be drawing it down. So what I'll just go ahead and do is to connect this point to this point. To just give me a straight line. So, I hope you are, you guys are understanding it. So, the next thing I'll just go ahead and do is to minus 1 inches. Minus 1 inch. I will just go ahead and minus an inch here from the shoulder line. I'll minus an inch. And this will serve as my shoulder slope, okay? This will serve, serve as my shoulder slope. And the next thing I'll just go ahead and do is to mark the neckline. Then I'll be using the standard neckline, which is 3 by 3. Remember, it is not much to use 3 by 3. You can actually use, as in, for the shoulder depth, you can actually come down depending on how or how wide or how open you want your shoulder line to be, okay? So, but in this uh, video, I'll just go ahead and use 3 by 3 inches, okay? So... So what I'll just do is to use my French curve to curve it like this. Okay. Are you seeing it? Then the next thing I'll just do is to, that one, uh, an inch that I came down from the shoulder line, I'll just go ahead and connect it to this point. And it will just serve as my shoulder scoop. It will just serve as the shoulder scoop. Okay. So are you seeing it? So the next thing I'll do here is to measure from here to here to get the midpoint of this line. I'll just go ahead and measure it. This is 7 inches. When divided by 2, see, if you want to divide it, just divide it like this. To uh -huh. so give me 3.5, then I'll just mark it. Okay? 3.5. Then the next thing I'll just do is to, from this center and um, line i'll just go ahead and uh, go inside by half an inch i'll go inside by half an inch then what i'll do now is to connect from here to here and also here by using my french curve i'll make use of my french curve if you don't have your french curve just go ahead from here and mark half inch mark half inch from here okay then connect it If you don't have a French curve, just go ahead and do use your free hand to also give you the same thing.
okay so this is it so the next thing i'll do now is to put my that measurement my that measurement what i normally do is to divide my a uh, post measurement by six if you divide um if you divide 14 inches by six remember by four give us um 10 10 inches then if i divide it by six it will draw it will give me five inches so what i'll do here is to measure from here this is five inches right so five inches so remember this is our bust point so i'll just go ahead and extend the line also because i'll be making use of it now for the that's okay so the next thing i'll do is to this is my five inches which is my um that line then on the first point i'll just go ahead and mark five inches again then i'll just go ahead and connect the two points i hope you are understanding it but if you don't understand it just leave your question on the comment section ask me whatever way whatever question that you want to ask me ask uh, write it down on the comment section i'll be there to attend to you to the question so from i'll just go ahead and go out in and out of from this line in and out by half half inches or but it's half inch here and also half inch here okay so what i'll do now is to connect it like this with my ruler yes connect it like this okay so and if you did like this that's just it so the next thing i'll do now is to put my normal body measurement my bust uh my bust uh, measurement is 40 divided by four will give me 10 inch then i'll just go ahead and add 1.5 or 2 inches can add 2 inches or 1.5 inches which is one and a half inches to it this will serve as the, the allowance the body's allowance then come down to the um waist measurement the waist the waist measure my waist measurement is 36 36 inches divided by four do you see it just watch how i'm doing it this is divided by two to give me 18 divided by four will give me nine nine inches so i'll just go ahead and mark it nine inches then i'll go ahead and add 1.5 1.5 then i'll measure the dad intake I'll measure the dart intake yeah this is one inches then i'll also add it because i'll be cutting off this part i'll be cutting off this part so in order to have a complete measurement after cutting off this part i'll also replace whatever that i took out from here here okay so what i'll just do here is to connect this point to this point okay hope you guys understand it okay then after getting it like this the next thing i'll do is to cut it so i'll cut it before before cutting please always cross check your work before cutting okay cross check it to avoid any um mistake cross check your work to avoid mistake before cutting so i'll just go ahead and cut
So after cutting, I also use it and get my back piece, the back piece. Okay. Well, what I'll do here is to come in here by one inch, and this will serve as my. This will serve as my zipper allowance. This will serve as the zipper allowance. So I'll just use my ruler to connect the lines. Okay. This is the zipper. Okay. So what I'll just do here is to place my the front body, the front piece here. Yeah. If I place it here, I'll just go ahead and outline it. So this is it. So I also go ahead and get the midpoint of this. Midpoint. Then from there, I'll just go ahead and connect it like this. So this is the only difference between the back piece and the front piece, okay? This is the only difference between the back piece and the front piece. And then I also mark my that. So remember, is to cut so on this part to eliminate the button at the zipper area I'll just go in by half inch I'll just go in by half inch and then connect it There's no special way of doing this. Just connect it to wherever or however you want it. It's 
slant it like so. So that's basically it. And after that, I'll just go ahead and cut, cut it. So congratulations to you if you just did what I did now. Congratulations to you. You just got a half um, bodies, basic bodies. Half length, basic bodies. Okay? So, and after that, I'll just go ahead and use it. If I want to draft it on my uh, fabric, remember it will be on fold. If you want to cut this part, you fold it and then place it this is your center part don't forget don't for don't forget always remember to fold your fabric before cutting thank you so very much for watching and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like this video share it and also subscribe and also subscribe if you have not thank you so very much for watching see you next time on my next video bye Thank <laughs> you.